Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over star forcing. I'm going to be showing you what to do, what not to do, and everything else in between. So this video isn't going to only help early game slash new players, but this is also going to help mid game players and also end game players because I'm going to be going over the entire spectrum all the way up until 22 stars, what you should star force first, items you shouldn't star force, and pretty much everything up until that point. Star Forcing is an RNG based system that allows you to gain damage for every star that you gain. Now, you have to pay for each individual star moving up. And once you get to 10 stars, this is where Star Forcing really becomes RNG. 0 to 10 stars, you don't have the chance of going down. But after you get to 10 stars, you do have the chance to move down a rank. So let's just say you're at 10 stars and you go to 11 stars. Once you're at 11 stars, you can go back down to 10 10 stars if you're at 14 stars you can also have the chance to go down to 13 stars but once you get to 15 stars that is the checkpoint so at 15 stars it will always stay at 15 stars you do not have the option to go back down to 14 stars and the same thing applies at 20 stars once you hit 20 stars you cannot go back down to 19 stars this is why a lot of people and myself included will say save for events saving for events is is 100% the only way to go about star forcing but we'll get into that later if you're brand new to the game I wouldn't worry too much about star forcing maybe get your gear to 10 stars if you're able to but once you're more established in the game and have some money then I would recommend getting into star forcing so you have some money saved up what should you be going for on your gear because there are levels to progression in this game and especially in star forcing so first obviously 10 stars that's just your basic starting point you can just leave your gear all at 10 stars let's just say you save up some money you have around 5 bill and a 5 10 15 event comes around now first off what even is a 5 10 15 event essentially a 5 10 15 event is everything at 5 10 and 15 stars has a hundred percent success rate so if you're at five stars you're 100 percent going to go to six if you're at 10 stars you're 100 percent going to go to 11 and if you are at 15 stars you are 100 percent going to go to 16 stars this event is hands down the best event period other than a shining star force which pretty much a shining star force is just a 5 10 15 event but just 30 percent off so you just save more money ideally shining star force events are the events that you really want to spend a big chunk of money because that's the event that you're going to save the most and get the most gains out of let's say you have five bills saved up and you're just a newer player i would highly recommend just trying to get all your gear to 16 stars i would not recommend it to go to 17 stars the reason why i say this is because you are 100 guaranteed to get to 16 stars and if you really wanted to greed for that extra 17 star you could end up spending like one bill per item in the long run just is not worth it you can get everything to 16 stars and then maybe if you get lucky and you get everything there then maybe you can tap a few items to 17 stars but i wouldn't recommend doing 17 stars first especially if you don't have a ton of money saved up and one reason why we always say save for events and why everybody will say save for events is because let's just say that you wanted to for some reason off of and get to 16 stars well once you're at 15 now when it's off event you don't have that 100 percent success rate to go to 16 stars so you could in theory spend five bill on one item to go from 15 to 16 stars now the likelihood of that happening is extremely low and probably would not happen but if it's a 5 10 15 15 to 16 stars will always be a hundred percent success rate so you always want to wait for events like a 5 10 15 or a shining event especially if you are going for items higher than 17 stars which we're going to talk about right now so once you're at the point of going for 20 21 and 22 star items you obviously have a ton of money saved up or at least you should have a ton of money saved up i would never really recommend going into an event wanting to go for 20 20 22 star items without having a bunch of money saved up and also having a lot of fodder items slash spare items i guess let's just talk about fodder items real quick because i know that is also a term that i had no idea what people were talking about when they said fodder this is a meistering this is level 140 my meistering is 22 stars and if i put this item in this slot right here 
it's gonna transfer the stats to another item but this item can only be within 10 levels of this mice ring so that means the superior golex ring can be put here don't pay attention to the stars on this item just imagine this was zero stars but essentially if i were to transfer this 22 ring into a clean superior golex ring it would then come out 21 stars so pretty much you'll always lose one star on transfer hammering you should never transfer hammer a 18 star item essentially you're not gaining anything from that you want to always fodder at a point where it's going to bring it down to that benchmark so at 16 stars for example let's say this dominator pendant was 16 stars i was transfer hammer this into a superior golex item so it would stay at 15 so it can't go down anymore same thing works for when it's 21 star it'll stay at 20 stars and it can't drop to 19 for example if you're at 19 stars and you try to transfer hammer a 19 star item into a golex item then that golex item is gonna be at 18 stars and it just pretty much makes the whole point of foddering worthless so only fodder items at 16 stars and 21 stars that way the outcome will be 15 stars or 20 stars and it'll be left at that benchmark okay that was a ton of information for foddering slash transfer hammering but i hope you you guys are familiar now with that system if you guys do have any questions please leave it down in the comment section i know it is a little bit confusing at times I'm trying my best to explain i hope i got the job done anyways let's move into now star forcing your items to 21 and 22 stars there is a process of doing this and there are ways to go about making this as efficient as possible there are items that you want to star force first and we're gonna go over those before we talk about what items to star force so let's just talk about what to do when you're star forcing do not do not do not star force items to 21 stars first like don't just start at 17 stars and then your first item you're just gonna go all the way to 22 stars stop at 21 stars and move on to the next one 21 everything that you have first before going for 22 star items i cannot stress that enough you will spend so much money and you will make such little gains if you just instantly go to 22 stars instead of 21ing everything first and then moving on to 22 starring items and if you don't want to listen to me and just go for 22 stars you're more than happy to do that but i'm just telling you right now and i'm warning you that you are gonna walk away from events having little to no gains compared to 21 starring everything before you go for 22s anyways now that we've got that out of the way let's talk about what items to star force first so you're gonna want to star force items that you have a lot of spares for which you guessed it cra items are what you're gonna want to star force at the beginning you have so many spares of cra and they're just the easiest you don't have to safeguard them they're pretty free and for the most part relatively easy to get to 22 stars and very cheap after cra i would go ahead and star force any items that you have a lot of other spares on let's just say you have a lot of fodder items for your superior golex earrings or your superior golex rings kana's treasure meister rings for the most part these spares are pretty easy to get reinforced golex earrings work for superior golex earring meister ring kana's treasure all work for superior golex rings dominator and dawn pendants do work on your superior golex pendant for a fodder you guys are curious about the belt pretty much your pink bean belts will work on a superior golex pendant reinforced belts will work on a superior golex pendant and the pino belt will work as a fodder for superior golex belts now that you've got the fodders out of the way and what to go to next we move on to the last items you should be star forcing which are your arcanes and there is a way to go about star forcing arcanes and we'll get into that right now the best way to star force arcanes is by rouletting them rouletting them is what you think you star force one of your arcanes to 18 stars and then you get the rest of your arcanes to 18 stars 1 to 19 the rest to 19 1 to 20 the rest to 20 1 to 21 and then the rest to 21 as well do not just individually star forces to 21 stars that is a grief the reason for that arcanes are very expensive not only are they expensive but they are pretty hard to come by you need to get 12 butterfly droplet stones for each arcane piece and this pretty much takes anywhere from three to four weeks to just get one piece of arcanes so be careful when star forcing arcanes stack up as many spares as you 
you possibly can for these and again like roulette these you do not want to go straight to 21 on arcanes i know some people do that but it's just in my opinion it's a grief you're just gonna make so many more gains just rouletting so i want to go over some items that i just would not recommend star forcing or at least not recommend star forcing to 22 stars and you're able to star force these at 22 stars if you want to but in my experience i've just stayed away from 22 starring these it just saves me time makes the game more enjoyable those items are sweet water items and reinforced Golux ring. To be honest, I really wouldn't even use a reinforced Golux ring, but if you do have one and you wanted to star force it, I would not go past 21 stars on a reinforced Golux ring. It just takes too much time to get a new one. It's griefing your superior Golux items, and it just doesn't benefit that much. Why I wouldn't star force Sweetwater items to 22 as well is because you have to do the voyages. If you don't mind doing the voyages, you can 100% go to 22 stars, but keep in mind that Sweetwater does get replaced in the future by pitched boss items. Items. and i know pitch boss items are very rare to come around and they're even rarer to get to 22 stars so don't bank on it but if you're okay with staying at 21 star sweetwater items that's where i would stop on those i stopped on those on my bowmaster you definitely do not need the 22 star sweetwater items like it's not going to make you clear bosses any bit faster keep that in mind it's going to save you some time you're not going to have to do voyages anymore anyways i think we've went over everything to do with star forcing i hope this guide helped i know there wasn't really any guides out there so i wanted to try to do my best to just really explain star forcing as a whole and i hope i did a good job at doing so if you guys do have any questions or you're still unfamiliar with star forcing please ask away in the comments i'm more than happy to reply to any questions and just help you understand the system more if you guys did enjoy today's video please consider leaving a like and if you guys are unfamiliar we do go live on twitch every single wednesday friday and sunday and we do use a face cam now so pull up to the twitch streams it's a really fun time you get to watch this progression live we would really appreciate it and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace